There's a lot of weird places in life, like, you know, Area 51 or maybe Alabama, if you're a sister lover. <laughs> Basically, there's there's just so many places that are unknown. Even the sea, like humans only know a certain percentage of what's actually in the ocean and stuff. One place that is super weird that everybody has went to is school. And in school, you have to be like very careful and selective about who you talk to who you sit next to because it could be the best or possibly the worst decision you have made in your life today we are going to be talking about the different types of kids in school the first kind of kid i want to talk about is the teacher's pet bro there's always that one student like say it's like on a friday and you're getting ready to go home and you know the kids like hey is there any uh homework and just go and and i get it but like bro like you you're sitting there like making everybody else a uh, day or weekend be ruined now because you want to sit there and be a teacher's meat rider like everybody hates the teacher's pet and if you're one of these teacher's pets like just learn to shut up sometimes like you're making yourself do more work too the next kid you have to, like everybody has had at school is the class clown bro and i just want to take a moment and commend every single like class clown out there because they're throwing away their future they're throwing away like a possibility of like having a good job later on in life and, and you know school is not necessarily super super important so they can still be successful but a lot of times like they end up learning nothing you know all to entertain the class and it's not gonna lie bro like the class clowns are needed especially like the chill ones that like you know are cool with everybody else and just kind of focus on the teacher bro like the class clowns just have a special place in everybody's heart and not gonna lie let's just take a moment of silence and just respect the class clowns the next kid every school has is the discord mod bro like this kid will sit there and just talk about fortnite or whatever meme they saw on the internet the last day bro and that's their whole like you know conversation piece like they were talking about fortnite minecraft uh what they did on discord or their discord like their discord job that they do for a youtuber and don't get any money for it bro like they're super weird and if you ever interact with one of these kids again most of them i, I mean they, they kind of stay to their self but if you ever interact with them bro like you're gonna have one of the most weird experiences that you have ever had bro and including not only the, the discord mod right the band kids as well like the band kids bro like again some of them are cool but like most of them bro just straight stink too bro like they they don't put on any deodorant they don't know what a shower is they don't know how to take care of themselves like same thing bro and i get like some people probably are poor but you gotta do somewhat better and, and you know if you're my friend and you stink bro i'm gonna let you know politely you know that way you can go and fix yourself bro but like the band kids and the doors discord mods kind of on the same tier right there bro and with the band kids too bro the choir kids bro they be doing od like you'll just be sitting in class and out of nowhere a group of them will just start singing some random song bro acting like everybody cares that they can sing bro like we get it you want to be beyonce you want to be drake you want to be kanye west but that's not you you're in you're in a high school right now you're just sitting in class like knock it off we don't want to hear you sing because you think it's cool bro it's not cool nobody cares like if that's what you want to do in your life is be a rapper or singer then i support you if you want to play an instrument then i support you but there's a time and there's a place i don't care at 8 a.m in the morning about you I, I don't want to hear you singing some freaking taylor swift song like just leave me alone the opposite spectrum we actually got the people who touch grass also known as the athletes and there's like many kinds of athletes too most are cool most are you know decent but it just depends on which one you kind of come across i also feel like a lot of like movies especially here in america show jocks or kind of athletes in a bad manner too because like a lot of people don't bully others or like push them into you know a, a locker or something most are just cool and chill and yeah the the, the athletes mainly will you'll, you'll see them just running up in the hallway and just like touching the top of like the exit pole or something or just running around goofing off a lot 
But then also, like, the people that they claim to be picked on a lot, like the smart people, there's always, like, a lazy smart person, bro. Like, this kid will be sitting in class on his phone all day and still somehow get, like, straight A's. And, like, that kid is, like, always super chill, too. Like, he's always willing to, like, help out and stuff. Or, you know, or maybe he just doesn't even talk at all. Like, he just goes to school, does what he's supposed to do, and go home, bro. Like, also an A1 kind of kid. Next, you got, like, the stoners, bro. And they just come to school every day are either drunk or super high bro like they're sitting in the back of the class and just eat chips all day like you don't want to cheat off of them ever because the homework's going to be work but like all they're going to do is sit in the back of class all day draw and just kind of like chill they usually don't care about anything but they're super chill to hang around though because like again they're always high so they have no worries no pain and they don't really care about anything but the stoners are just like kind of chill also Every school definitely has a hot Cheeto girl, bro. And they wake up and just start eating the hot Cheetos, bro. Like, the girl will come into class at 8 a.m. with a bag full of snacks. Not have her homework, not have anything. Just a bag full of snacks. And just start eating hot Cheetos with long, fake nails all day long, bro. And then if you ask her for some, like, some people would ask for some. She would be like, oh, no, I ain't giving you none of my chips. But, yeah, that's the kind of kids at school. Tell me if you want me to do a part two. Uh, maybe I'll rank the types of like kids at school and uh, yeah. Now you don't fell up with a girl that went and fell up with a die. Not a fan of reading them.